Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy, G-Shrimp. You know everybody's favorite baby daddy, voice of the street, man. And today, we in Chicago and Baton Rouge with y'all. Now, before I start, uh, I just want to say something. Uh, I guess I offended one of my uh, my subscribers, y'all, uh, from the G-Shrimp gang, y'all. Uh, my girl, what's her name? Nicole Williams is a little upset, y'all. She said, I uh, am promoting homosexuality. And I'm like, no, the fuck I'm not. You know, uh, I gave a little shout out on my last video to the Kings of Cream. I thought it was funny. You know, I wasn't trying to rub nobody the wrong way. I definitely don't want to rub my own subscribers the wrong way. If that offends you, sister, I'm sorry. But uh, you already, if you watch my videos, you know how I get out. I'm not trying to ruffle no feathers, y'all. That's why I even took the suggestion. Like, okay, but she also had another point where she said they didn't ask you to promote no peace. They didn't ask me to promote that. They just say we got a lot of YouTubers that are over there. You know, it'd be nice to give a, a shout out to them. So I'm like, okay, that's no problem. Y'all see, when I said it, I was laughing, you know, because I'm like, hey, I ain't going to tell your motherfucker who to sleep with, but hey, me, um. Uh, I'm just not into that. Hmm. Shit, I, I went to the strip club the other day, y'all. Look at this. I brought all my motherfucking singles home, y'all. I am not into that shit. I don't like to be teased by a motherfucking woman. If you ain't gonna give me that pussy, I don't want you teasing me. And I definitely ain't gonna have you, uh, uh, have me throwing away my hard earned money. I called my baby mama, come get a couple of these motherfucker bands, man, before I get in. I kept, I think I had three, I gave two away, kept one. Fuck that shit, I ain't finna be throwing it to some random chick I don't even fucking know. You know, fuck that shit. But anyway, man, we go slide in Baton Rouge, y'all. You know, now, y'all know shit been going a little rough for the NBA camp. NBA, young boy, it's locked up, y'all. NBA Band 10 is locked up. And they just went and got uh, OG33. He locked up. Then last night, or a couple nights ago, uh, Baby Joe, another one of NBA young boy, he gets caught up in the shootout on the motherfucking highway. A cop pull up on him and try to get out on him. They start shooting back. There's chains fire. You know, and uh, his car got disabled. Boom, ran into the wall. You know, he got hit in the neck. Everybody in his car got shot. You know, and uh, the other car kept on moving. And, you know, and the war don't stop just because uh, a few of your guys locked up. The enemy like to strike when uh, you're weak or at your lowest point. You feel me? And I had told y'all uh, NBA had problems when they grabbed him. And the feds didn't say nothing for a while. I said, uh, I told y'all they was going to try to connect him to a lot of their moves. You know, that bag dropping shit, you know. The feds like to wait till they got all they shit. Now, NBA, the feds didn't say nothing about him. They want to keep it quiet. NBA, being 10, they ain't said nothing about him. But the feds went and got uh, OG33. The feds went and got him. So now, all them cases, they always were connected. Because whatever OG do, Ben do, and NBA young boy, they always together. You know, and uh, shit just ain't looking good for uh, NBA young boy. They look camp man right now, you know. And uh, what's going on in Chicago, man? We had one of the bloodiest weekends we've had in a while, y'all. Uh, 74 people shot this weekend. Uh, let's say five dead. Two of them was women, y'all. These niggas, you know, this shit is nothing new. Y'all familiar with my channel, y'all fuck with me. I be telling my little stories, all these shootouts and shit. It's been like that, y'all. This ain't nothing new. This has been like that. Well, y'all hear me say I have ride with four guns and shit. When it's up, it's been like that. You know, every time, you got to think of every shooting, y'all, it's a retaliation for it. So, if you got 50 shootings, that's 25 over here, 25 steps back. You feel me? 25 slid over here, 25 slid back. You know, then you break the five down. Somebody up one. 
two go, two go back, and we got one. Somebody ain't stepped back yet. You know, that's crazy. That's really crazy. And then they ain't letting the women slide no more, y'all. Now, women be in a lot of shit. Sometimes they put themselves in that, and sometimes they don't, y'all. Every woman that gets shot is under a different circumstance. Sometimes the woman put herself in harm's way. Sometimes she just be with the wrong nigga when she go down. Sometimes the nigga be too important to step on, to pass. Like, man, he got his girl in the car. Fuck that dog. We got to get him. This the nigga. He done put three of our guys down. Nigga got to have him. So fuck it. If they got to go through the woman, so be it. You know, and then nigga start saying shit. My sister got shot, dog. I'm going to fuck. You know, and niggas will say the same shit about the kids, man. If we got kids over here, got bullet holes in their arm, shit, same thing when niggas go over there. It's going to be like that. And it's hard for us to uh get a hold on this shit and squash this shit. You know, it's a few OGs out here that we still control so much. But uh, when niggas is sliding on your guy, you can't be always, now nah, hold fast, hold fast, hold fast. And telling them not to move. Shit, at one point you got to be like, man, go on, handle your business. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. You know, if we could get everybody to sit down and have a ceasefire for one day, let's try one day. Everybody asks, how can we stop the violence? I don't know. One, stay off social media dissing the dead, motherfucker. Keep that out your mouth. Stop dissing the dead. Stop smoking dead up, y'all. And then just try it. Don't nobody slide for one day. And then try two days. Try two days. But you got to have niggas who in charge to say that. We can sanction that, but it's a few sets. Like over here, niggas still in control of shit. But over on other sets, niggas ain't, ain't nobody controlling it. And these young girls like to go run a date and uh, run their own shit and control their own shit. That's in certain other mobs. We ain't letting ours get out of order like that. We trying to stay on top of shit. But at the point you get, you too grown to even entertain some bullshit. So some bullshit, a motherfucker call AG, should I do that? Man, do what you want to do, man. Did they slide over there? Yeah, well, go on handle that. As long as you get the green light. Nigga just a give them the green light. Fuck it, y'all got a green light to do what y'all do. Y'all ain't got to call me. Just handle the business, period. And that's what, when niggas have the green light to just smash the gas, y'all, they mash that motherfucker. I'm telling you, they mash it. And these young boys, they don't realize, man, that they not going to change shit. You know, they only going to be losing good friends. Some of them going to end up in jail. Some of them going to be dead. And at the end of the day, street credit can't buy you shit, y'all. I'll be filthy goddamn rich, boy. I will be filthy goddamn rich. But street credit can't buy you shit. You know, and um, even when you're hustling, you make a good money. But I know hustle so many times, y'all made good money. But I, I seen that movie. I know how it ends. It ends the same way, y'all. Them people go call. That's how the dope game always ends. That's why I also be on these rappers' ass so hard, like, man, straighten up, fly right, man. Y'all making legal money beautifully. It should, no way should y'all be catching motherfucking cases. Man, y'all are not in the streets no more. You're from the streets. Act like it. Stop doing shit that niggas in the street got to do. Niggas in the street, we got to keep our pistol. We got to do this ride with it and all that. Y'all don't got to do that. Y'all got money to hire bodyguards and security, bulletproof cars and all that shit. You know why y'all doing things to get yourself in trouble? Then, you know, they got the RICO law out, man. They they using it on gang members and shit. Now, you know, um, you get two or three people uh, conspire with each other, that's a conspiracy, they can call that a gang. If y'all moving toward anything, they can call that a gang. Which is another reason why some of the OGs step back and be like, man, I don't want to be in it, because motherfucker, your little guys could be uh doing something, getting it on, and you just, because you talk to them every day, they can pull you in that shit. 
and you could be like, man, them niggas made a million dollars. Shit, I might have made a hundred thousand on the side, but I wasn't jamming with them. They talked to me at now and then, but you might not even been in what they was doing. But the Rico will pull you in. Conspiracy cover a lot of ground, y'all. It's hard to beat a conspiracy case. You hear me? It's hard. So when y'all hear me preaching this little shit, I be trying to sneak the messages in. And all my people, you know, be wanting me to tell the story. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm going to stop that shit. I'm going to really stop that shit and do some other shit. Because I look at some of them videos, I'm like, look, some of these motherfuckers are going too deep. And I told my motherfuckers about shootouts and all kind of shit. Yeah, and they did time for some of that shit. Now they did this. Now y'all know why they was raiding my house so much. And, but I'm like, damn. Now, I don't talk about addresses and this and that, and I don't claim shit. So, I shouldn't be able to be connected to none. But, you never know how the way the judge and the feds play. They can listen to this shit and say, well, you just said you did this. You said you did that. I can say, no, I didn't. Freedom of speech. Well, I have to say I'm lying. I put a disclaimer up. But then, when they go start pulling my record, they be like, motherfucker, you goddamn lie. You ain't lying. You're naming half of these motherfucking files over here. Half of the shootings your name was in. And I'd be like, damn. You know, I said I wasn't going to do that. But I'm listening to everybody over here. Hey, if we want to hear the stories. If we want to hear the stories. You know, hey, okay, I, cool. I appreciate it. Because I look at the internet too, y'all. And some of that shit, it, it's just, um, uh, but I say redundant. It's the same old shit. Everybody report on the same shit. Uh, for instance, Mac just got out, y'all, from No Limit. Mac did 21 years for a case they say he didn't commit. And I was a No Limit fan, y'all. I can't name one record Mac made. I'm, I never listened to Mac. Out of all the No Limit guys, he was one of the guys I really didn't listen to. I don't, it didn't say this or nothing. It's just I, you know, but people was concerned about Mac. Because Mac, uh... Did 21 years, you know, and I know C Murder. I know a lot of C Murder shit, you know, Masterpiece, Silk the Shocker, Fame, Mia X, Goddamn it, Mystical. I fucked with them hard, y'all. Uh, what's my name, Fame? Shit, uh, Mac. I, I didn't listen to Mac. What's that other nigga name? Uh, yeah, now that's Fame, Mr. Walk Womp. <laughs> and, uh, shit, you know. I just never listened to, to Max shit. I never missed, listened to Mr. Servo or the other niggas came in Able. I never got into them. Them the only No Limit albums I didn't get into. All that other shit, I was into it. But, you know, anyway, it's good he home after 21 years, y'all. You know, so welcome home, Mac. You know, that's good. It seemed like his wife's stuck in there, hung with him, y'all. She rode it on out with him, you know. It's a lot of good women out here, man. A lot of good women. We just got to treat them better and know where they at. You know, you know where they at. Y'all you know, be hearing me talking about my baby mama a lot, a lot of shit. Yeah, cause I done went through so many women in the dope game and all this shit. And uh, they come and they go. They come and they go. They come and they go. But when I start revisiting my life, when I'm telling some of these stories, it's baby mama here, baby mama there. Baby mama here, baby mama there. And sometimes when I say baby mama, these are different baby mamas, y'all. I got three. You feel me? I got three. So every story you hear, when you hear baby mama, it's not the same baby mama. The same baby mama saved my life. It's not the same baby mama I just gave them <laughs> singles to. That's another one. You know, that's another one. And then I got another one over here. They just around. They fuck with their baby daddy the long way. You know, so man, but but father's uh shit in Chicago, y'all, and how to squash that shit. These lights got me sweating so bad, y'all. How to squash it? I couldn't tell y'all. If we knew how to squash it, it would have been squashed. But one thing you know, when it's up, it's up. That's what it is, man. You know, so I just came on here to. Say that a little bit, man. You know, I really want into the. Oh, yeah. I just got these cards. Uh, next week, y'all, I got some cards. I'm going to be passing out. It's a giveaway. That's coming up, y'all. 
somebody gonna be able to win a computer now I'm gonna pass out these cards I got some assistance I'm gonna pass out these cards I guess you gonna have to live in Chicago or whatever so or I figure out how could I do it online to help some of the people but these for the people in Chicago basically it's gonna be some cards of laying around. You might see it on the bus. You might see it at a currency change, a restaurant, or something. You pick this card up and call me. Tell me where you uh, found this card at, and subscribe, and you go get a chance to win a, a Mac computer just like this one, a Mac computer. So you guys find that card and get up with me, man. It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody favorite baby daddy voice of the street. Uh, my girl and Nikki, get out your feelings, sis. Don't be mad at the G. Don't be mad at the general. I'm just human, baby. I'm not like that, you know. And you already know I do not promote no motherfucking homosexual activity. You should know that. You and your feelings. I'm in mine when I read your shit. You know, my other guy said, damn, shrimp, uh... He said, nice shout out, man. I didn't expect to hear that from your channel. Right. That's why I even said it, man. I, I don't think they're going to be watching my channel. If y'all notice, I was laughing. But I guess she took it a little bit like, oh, man. God damn it. They got my man. Oh, shit. I thought this nigga was going to be about it. This motherfucker is promoting homosexual activity. Girl, you know we. <laughs> Girl, please. Please. You must don't know me. I thought you did. But you one of the G Shrimp gangs. You are right. I appreciate your comment. But that's for you, boo. I'm out.